I'm Peter Layton. I'm a glassmaker. And my piece has been inspired by the Lexus LS 500. I've been running this studio for around 45 years. I was most intrigued by the glass panels in the doors, and I thought they were stunning, beautiful. I knew they'd taken a long time to design and make. My first thought was to emulate those in some way. And then I thought about the color, as it were, Lexus blue that appealed to me. And it's a color I've been using a lot. And I was very taken with the grill. So I tried to get some sense of that pattern into the glass. I was very aware of this aesthetic of the value of the imperfect, that, that things need necessarily be totally perfect. And I wanted an element of that to find its way into our sculpture. The way I tend to work is sketching on the blowing iron. So each piece I make, is an evolution or is a development of the previous one. Initially, we did a few clear versions that were sketches. After that, it was really a finding a suitable technique to give us the pattern we wanted, this cr crisscross network. And latterly, we used what's called the pastorelli, using a Venetian technique of pulling out canes, preheating them, Making what we call cups with them, building up a form in glass is a question of layering and we've created a layer of blue glass. Then we apply another cup which has the white network in it. So the blue cup goes inside the white cup, so that's a layer. And then we have clear glass over the top. Once we'd begun to get it right, it was a case of practicing, you know, making several of them in order to try and get the one. Glass is an absolutely magical medium, and the most rewarding part of working with it is that voyage of discovery, revealing what's going on either with form or color or what's going on in the interior or the optical qualities. You're slightly removed in the fact, in so far as you can't touch the hot glass, but it is so spontaneous. For me, each piece is very much an adventure. I enjoy that challenge, having to respond to the way the glass is working. So you can cast it, you can fuse it, you can bend it, you can draw it out and then fuse those elements. Blowing, although historically a very cheap process invented by the Phoenicians, Blowing is actually today the, the most costly. So I really like this word takumi and I think it does apply to the way we work in many ways. We're not doing the same thing time and time again like you would in a factory. I don't necessarily think there are barriers between art, craft and design. You know, I see them as a whole package and I think that's what takumi relates to. It's this unique input that each individual has, and I try to encourage that in the people I work with. I want them to be open to possibilities. I don't think a machine could do a lot of what we try to do. On occasion, I've worked in factories as a resident artist. Very few factories would put that amount of time or effort into a, an individual piece. And of course, factories, for the most part, want everything to look alike. But even then, I think it, it lacks a certain individual sort of input. We anneal our glass for two days. You think you've made this amazing piece, but that moment of opening the annealer, you know, and seeing what it was you did last time you worked, for me, it was a very exciting moment. Thoroughly enjoyed the project. I think it's a good solution, a good resolution. So I'm very taken with the piece. It's been a, a very enjoyable project. I'm, I'm glad to have had this involvement with Lexus.